wonderful blessing of having an office talagang here in downtown Davao. Uh, the company has only been open six months and yet we are all the way in Mindanao na. Can you imagine? Yes. 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 Lord, naka, nakakalula. In fact, nag-uusap kami ni Anna kanina. Nandun kami nagpipicture kami sa malaking sign nyo. And sabi ko, grabe best, nakaka-proud. Diba? Sobrang overwhelmed. Iyakin talaga ako. Pasensya na kayo. Nakaka-overwhelmed talaga na. Ilan years na ba tayo nagkakilala, Bess? 2014. 2014. In 2014, nasa ibang company kami, ang dami namin hinanakit, alam niyo yung mga gano'n na pinagdaanan and everything. Pero, totoo pala yung sinasabi nila sa Bible na yung baptism of fire. Thank you, Bess. Di ba yung kailangan dumaan ka talaga minsan sa sa um, hard times para ma-appreciate mo rin. Eventually, yung pagdating nung lahat ng blessings ni Lord. Yes. At wag mo kitake for granted. Yes. Yes. Um, Mag-share lang ako ng konti. Sorry ha, sobrang emotion ang kami. Ay! Woo! Time out! Okay, um, in year 2000, 2001, na-diagnose po ako ng breast cancer. Stage 2, right breast. Um, Nakikita niyo buo na ulit, pinabayal ako na <laughs> And um, in 2001, uh, stage 2 ako, I had to remove a large part of my right breast kasi nandun yung tumor. And sinabi ko sa akin na cancerous siya. And 30 years old pa lang ako noon. So ang feeling ko, uh, ang bata-bata ko pa, mamamatay na ako. Diba? Alam niyo yung alam niyo siguro yung fear, lahat tayo, meron tayong fears. Pero yung imagine niyo na lang yung worst fear niyo, i-magnify niyo by 1 million percent. Ganun siguro yung dumating na fear sa buhay ko. And yet, at the time, because I was already Christian, which is why it's so important na talaga may relationship tayo kay Lord, is because uh, pag dumating yung mga pagsusubok sa buhay natin, kahit na meron possibility na we won't make it. Diba? There's a possibility na kunin na nga tayo ng tuluyan ni God. At least, meron ka peace of mind deep inside na kahit ano pa mangyari, alam mo kung saan ka pupunta. Alam nyo, that, that gives you so much peace. And, um, in spite of all the fear and all of that, talagang nagpo I prayed so hard. Sabi ko, Lord, kung trial lang to, kung may dahilan ka, kung may purpose ka para sa akin, why I am going to go through this um, this journey kasi everyday naman sa buhay ng tao is a journey until makarating ka na sa iyong dapat puntahan which is either heaven or hell. Diba? And for us, hopefully, it is heaven, all of us. And during that journey, I prayed so hard that He would show me the reason why He allowed that to happen in my life. And that is when after my first chemotherapy where I lost all my immune system, ang average po ng immunity ng white blood cells sa katawan ng tao is between 15 and 20,000. Ang akin po, bumagsak ng negative. As in, walang-wala na. Ubos. Um, in fact, so much so na kapag may pumasok na nurse na may sipon or nanggaling sa isang restaurant na meron siyang hinawakan na bagay na may virus or whatever, pwedeng ipasa sa akin, for sure I'll die. It was that bad, my, my immune system. Naka-reverse isolation po ako sa hospital, uh, which means naka-bubble. Yung kama ko, naka-plastic siya. So, bawal kahit anong virus na makapasok po dun sa room ko. Kasi my health was so detrimental na even somebody na kakatawa man, na nagkulangot sa labas at pumasok sa kwarto ko, pwede na akong hawaan ng whatever virus at mamatay ako. It was during that time that I begged my doctor to allow me to have a laptop. Kasi, imagine nyo, it, kunyari, itong stage na to, nakakover ng plastic. Okay? At ako yung nasa loob, in a bed. Ano magagawa mo doon? Wala. Sabi mo, can I borrow a book? The book, they don't know where it came from. So, they don't know kung may nag-handle na may virus. So, bawal. Can I watch TV? You cannot watch TV kasi alam nga may pasok nila yung TV sa loob ng, ng bubble mo. 
So, nothing, bawal lahat. Ang pinag-pray ko talaga, Lord, bigyan mo naman ako ng laptop. Kahit ano lang, para meron akong nagagawa sa loob. And they had to buy a brand new sealed laptop and give it to me inside. It was a nurse that came. She was naka-rubber out. Alam mo yung, yung mga uniform ng nurse, di ba? Uh, blue. Pero ito, yung nurse ko, naka-blue pa rin siya, pero rubber yung <coughs> uniform niya. Okay? As in, plastic na makapal. Yun ang suot niya. Pinasok niya, naka-seal yung, yung laptop. Pinuksan ko. Fortunately, may outlet sa loob ng bubble ko. So, nakapag-laptop na ako. And that's where I started to research for myself. What is cancer? How can I help my immune system? Lahat ng kinukomplain ko sa doktor, alam niyo, pag nagkikimo kayo, may 100 problems that come with it. Sabi nila, chemo is supposed to cure your cancer. But they don't tell you that it kills your immunity. Okay? 100%. They don't tell you that one of the major side effects is pounding headaches every day. So, di ba habang nagdagamot ka for your cancer, binibigyan ka naman ng ibang mga problema. So, pag nag-complain ako ng masakit na masakit ang ulo ko na para akong may migraine, magdadala ulit another gamot. Na yung another gamot naman na yun, nakakasuka. So, the whole day, nagsusuka ka. Okay, tapos magbigyan ka naman another medicine to cover naman din pagsusuka. So, ano siya? Para siyang domino effect. Until I, I really thought, there has to be a natural way. Kasi puro gamot, puro pharma ang binibigay sa akin. Eventually, ang naisip ko, my God, magsasuffer sobra yung liver ko and my kidneys. Puro gamot, puro gamot ang binibigay. How will, how will I be able to heal even if I overcome cancer? Okay? What about the rest of my body? What about my kidneys and my liver and my heart? which has gone through so much because of the chemotherapy. How am I going to recover from that? That's when I started to do all the research online. How to boost your immunity naturally. And you know, honestly, it's amazing and dami ways na mag-boost ng immunity natin naturally. Sleep is the number one way. You have to rest. Okay? Since sabi nila, uh, the only time your body heals is when you are sleeping. Did you know that? Diba yung isip mo, relax, relax, beach, okay yan, diba? That doesn't matter. You can relax in the beach. That's enjoyment. That's not healing. Healing is sleeping. It is so important. But there are other ways you can help with products like our barley. Ang daming product na pwedeng gamitin. But did you know, the number one in the whole world that God created himself is barley. Yes. Yes. Process, of process of elimination isa isa kong ni-research yan imagine I had 9 months in that bubble to discover what God really created that is the best for our immune system and during the time you have to remember di ko naman alam na someday I'll be standing in front of people like you ang purpose ko lang during the time is for my own healing Yun lang yung focus ko na, okay, so kung ginagawa mo yung research and yung, yung uh, training of your own knowledge for yourself, it doesn't matter about anybody else at the time. Gusto ko lang mag mahila ko sa sarili ko. Okay, so that's how I focus my, my research. What will help me? You know there's a saying, knowledge is power, correct? So, you have to become knowledgeable. You guys, are. this is now your business. Be knowledgeable. Don't take my word for it. Don't take the word of AM or ICA or, or, you know, or anybody in the company that, that will speak to you and tell you about the benefits or whatever. Hear us. Listen to us. Pero afterwards, go into your own research. Kasi knowledge nyo yan. Knowledge nyo yan and that is your power. And that is what I did. Through my own research and my own uh, my own um, readings, I realized, isa isa malunggay. Wow, taas ng ano yan? Healing powers yan, okay? Yung um, yung ampalaya, taas din ng healing powers yan. Guyabano, wheatgrass, but above them all is barley. Above yes. them all. <laughs> Highest 
next niyan, next to barley, is wheat grass. And yet, yung wheat grass is only half as powerful as barley. Half! So everything else is below that. Berries are very high also. Okay? Pero the best way to boost your immunity is through barley. And so, since alam ko na ako, anong barley, uh, kung ano yung pinaka best way to boost my immune system, next step, aling barley. Daming klaseng barley from all over the world. Okay? Meron India, may China. Actually, barley can be grown in any cold country. May US, okay? Everywhere. New Zealand. The best is from Australia. And only one place in Australia grows barley. Why? Because the weather, the soil, the way it is, it is uh, uh, planted and harvested, the way it is treated in the, in the plant, so that the integrity and the purity of the, of the product itself, of the plant itself, is contained 100%. So pagdating po sa packaging natin, everything, until it gets to your table, until you open it and put it in your glass, it is still 100% there, as if it was the day they harvested it itself. Wow. That is how amazing our barley is. Now, how does barley affect people? We're not a pharma company. We don't do a million tests. We believe in what God says. He promises certain things and try it. What have you got to lose? For me, I was already in the hospital. Nas hospital na ako. Lahat ng sinasabi ng doktor, ginagawa ko na. Lahat ng gamot, tinetake ko. And yet, bakit? Hindi nila ako mapagaling the way nag-recover ako nung nag-barley ako. Kaaway ng mga doktor ang mga natural products. I have to be honest. Because they don't make money from natural products. That's the beauty of I Am. I Am has made it available to you so that you can make money from natural products. You know, during my first chemo, I was in that bubble. I was thinking already things like, pag namatay ako, kamusta kaya yung anak ko? Sino mag-aalaga? All the things that you don't think about when you're 30. And I was already thinking, and accept ko na, okay naman daddy niya eh, kahit ibalay kami. Mapapalaki niyang mabuti yan. Andiyan naman mama ko, my sisters, di ba? Little did I know that God had a plan. That someday, what now, that was 2000, 17 years later, I would be here with you. Iba magplano si Lord. Do not, do not assume to know you. Grabe, for me, kaya ako very emotional kasi it's so real for me. It was a time when I really thought natapos na yung buhay ko. And then, every time, every single time meron ganito na gathering or, or yung launch ng I am natin, di ba yung sobrang Grateful ako na, wow God, binigay mo pa rin sa akin itong opportunity na makashare. Even if the worst thing happened to me in my life na because of that cancer, because of that experience, andito ako ngayon. Nakakatulong sa maraming tao through I am, di ba? Sobrang nakaka-overwhelm. Alam nyo, after my first chemo, which I was in that isolation for so long, on my second chemo, di na ako na-isolate. Yung immune system ko, which took 21 days to recover from the first chemo. So, kunyari, uh, may, may ano kayo? Maro, thank you guys. Explain ko lang para naintindihan nyo. During my first chemo, I ended up in the ICU. Okay? Yan, tama yan ha, ako to. I'm not very good at growing. Okay, nakababol yan. Ang first chemo, say day one. Ito pala. Wala pala. Wala. Day one yan, day one. First chemo. Ang treatment ko is four chemos, dapat. And then after the four chemos, 21 days of radiation therapy. So on day one of my first chemo, the doctor already told me na 
you have to recover, your white blood cells will be wiped out. It's natural, sabi niya. Your second chemo is 21 days from now. Within 21 days, your white blood cells have to be recovered. If not, we cannot give you the second chemo. Okay? And if we cannot give you the second chemo, you will go back to the first again. Can you imagine? Eh, yung first pa lang na gusto ko na mamatay. <laughs> May tatlo pang matitira. Tapos pag na ano, disqualify, uulit. Makakainan ako. Yun yung nasa mind ko. So, kailangan talaga mahit ko yung 21 days. Parang ano, no? Parang... Parang <laughs> Ano, hindi. Parang kuota sa ano. Sa ano. Kailangan mahit. Mag-sapire. <laughs> This is for your life. This was for my life. So, I cannot rely lang on what the doctors are saying. Kasi for me, okay, andyan na. Lahat ng sinasabi na gagawin ko. Pero, kailangan din tulungan ko sarili ko. Doon pumasok yung research. Doon pumasok yung Barbie. Nung na-discover ko na, alam nyo, on the 20th day, every day, kukuna ka ng dugo. Every day for 21 days. On the 20th day, sinabihan ako, you made it. We can give it to you tomorrow. Imagine ka recover ko lang today. Tomorrow, titirahin na naman ako. <laughs> Alam mo, gusto mo sabihin, pwede time out kayo one week lang, please lang, para normal yung feeling ulit. Ang feeling kasi dito, parang ang gulay. Hindi ka makabanyo on your own. Kailangan may nag-aalala yung sayo. Hindi ka makakain ng tama kasi lahat ng... Ang bibig mo, punong-punong ng mga singaw. Okay? Walang lasa. Lahat ng kainin mo tastes like metal. No promise. No. no. Ano mo yung sasabihin nila? Do you know what metal tastes like? Me, I know. Kasi it ruins your taste buds completely. Ano mo my favorite things like chocolate, okay, coke, yung mga ganyan. Di ba yung mga gusto mong kainin? Burger. Lahat na ipasok ko sa bibig ko, lasa metal. So wala, wala kang gana. Why will you eat? Kahit sa mind mo, ito yung taste, di ba? Sabi mo, ito yung lasa niya. Pabibili ko niya. Pagdating sa'yo, hindi yun yung lasa. Yun yun, yun yung side effects ng chemotherapy. So I made it to my second. By then, imagine 20 days na ako nagre-research. By then, sabi ko, by then, last by, I told him, bumili ka ng barn. I don't care what the doctor say. Itaabu mo, huwag mong pakikita na pinasok mo dito. So, naipasok. I kept taking it. Alam mo, my second chemo, it took me four days to recover. Wow. wow. Four days. Kanina sa ni Pichi, meron daw tao dito na nag-testify na nagtatago na siya. <laughs> na meron daw gallstones. Gallstones ba? Yes. Gallstones. And after three days of taking the barley, four days, four days what happened? Lumabas. Lumabas. Ganun ka-powerful yung barley. There are people, it takes years. There are some conditions that I had that took years to recover, but it still recovered. Like, what, because of chemotherapy, one of the side effects is my ovaries shut down. So no more meds. No more period. So my doctor told me I'll never have children again. And I only had one child back then, si Lexi. She was only six when I got diagnosed. And when, she, when my doctor told me na I'll never have children again, but I'm feeling ko, okay na rin, at least I have one. But in the back of my mind, I was thinking, what if I get a recurrence in the future? Okay? What if next time it's not, I'm not so lucky? What if next time I, God really wants to take me na? Diba? Sabihin natin, five years from now, ten years from now, bumalik yung cancer, which is very, very much a possibility for any cancer patient. Once may cancer ka na, Chances of recurrence are always 50% higher than somebody who's never had cancer. Okay? So, but now I'm on my 16th year. So, 
out of the woods na ako. Kung baga. Normally, a recurrence happens within two years. Kung hindi ka pa graduate nung two years mo, hindi ka pa out of the woods. Pag nakagraduate ka na ng two years, your next is five years. That's your goal. Pag nakagraduate ka ng five, ten. Sometimes, even up 12 or 13, nagkaka-recurrence pa. Okay? So you are not out of the woods. For me, it's been 16 years. Plus, why do I know I am cured? Because my cancer, the one that I had, was called RH positive. RH positive is, it feeds on estrogen. Ang nagpapakain sa cancer ko is estrogen sa katawan. Eh di ba nagkaanak ako ulit? After three years, yan ah, three years ako umiinom ng barley from day one. My period came back. Wow. Three years! So that just goes to show some things it will fix in 20 days. Some things it will take years. But no matter what, if you're consistent and you drink it regularly, it will be fixed. Yes. So on the third year, I had a, I got pregnant and I got I have my son. During my pregnancy, all my doctors were going crazy. Nako, that's so dangerous. You have to have a medical abortion immediately. You have to do this, you have to do that. Nako, you cannot. You're a cancer survivor. Do you want to get cancer again? Yun yung sinasabi sa akin. Because nga, when you get pregnant, what goes up? In your system. Estrogen. Correct? When estrogen goes up, I'm feeding the cancer. So whatever is dormant, whatever is sleeping in my system will wake up again and it will be fed and I will get it again. Yun yung fear. Even my mom, my mom, iniiyakan ako. Hindi daw ba sapat na pinadaan ko niya sa kanya one time. At uulit pa ako. I'm so selfish. Lahat, I heard it all. You're a selfish person. You're only thinking of yourself. Lahat yan, sinabi sa akin. But you know, I knew. In my heart, I knew. God will not allow this if there's no purpose. Yes. 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 And you know, now my son is 12. <laughs> Imagine he's 12. What if I had, had an abortion? He'd not be here. You know? And he brings everybody so much joy. Not just me, my mom, my, my, my daughter. And you know, when I found out I was going to have another child, you know, I knew in my heart it was going to be a boy. Hindi ko pa alam ha, yung sex. Pero in my heart, I knew God. God promised. He said to me, you're going to have a son. You know, from the day that I knew I was pregnant, alam ko lalaki. And I knew also that you know, I was reading Malakai because I have so many testimonies about tithing some other time regarding tithing. But in a nutshell, when I went to the States and I found out I was pregnant, I had no money. None. But I was always a, face, a very faithful tither. Tayo, nagpapayaman, di ba? Like what Pastor said earlier, it all belongs to God. All of it. Pag 10 pesos lang ang pera mo, easy no, to give 1 peso. Pag 100 pesos, easy to give 10. Pag 100,000 na, madali pa bang magbigay ng 10,000? Or, pag 1 million na, kaya mo magbigay ng 100,000? Harder, di ba? Why? It's relative. It's the same ratio. Why does it become harder? I remember there was one time I earned 1 million pesos in one TV show. I went to, ano, went to church. Ano si Connie? Reyes. Nakaready na yung check ko ng tithe. 
yung pero hindi ko mabigay sa church, sa victory. Lumapit ako sa kanya, sabi ko, Cory, I made na the check. But parang I can't do it. <laughs> it's heavy in my heart. Sabi ko, parang bigat ibigay. Sabi niya, come on, Tom. So, alam mo yung hawak yung, ito yung check eh, ito. Here, Paul. Baka mo. Tinagan niya na lang. Pag-ganyan na sa kanya. Promise. Alam mo, she reminded me, sabi niya, you cannot outgive God. Yes. When I got sick, and I had no money to pay for anything, I was in America. I blindly applied. Blindly. I'm not entitled. I'm not an American citizen. I blindly applied for medical aid. And I got approved. My entire treatment was free. And you know what? I remembered that moment that I that I gave that check to all you. Yung bigat ng pag-release pag nung, nung, alam mo yung envelope natin, sabi ko, hirap talaga, hirap i-release yun. Pero I'm so grateful that I did because at the time when I needed help, God was there. He, you know I calculated how much it would cost? Five million to three. What I got in pesos, $100,000 is what it would have cost. Back then, it was 5 million. Ngayon siguro, doble na yan. But I didn't pay for anything. Even my... Yung oh. oh. maintenance ko every day, yung tawag nyo ng tamoxifen, normally, one tamoxifen is $100. And I have to take one every day. You know how much I was paying? One dollar for each one. You cannot outgive God. So, okay lang na magpayaman. But don't forget what Pastor said. The money isn't ours. We're only stewards. So, ayan, isang track tuloy ako. Okay, anyway. So, because of the estrogen, I was... Everybody was fearful for me to get pregnant, but I had my son. And he's completely well. He's... Wala, alam mo, I only have one breast to breastfeed him. Because they had radiated my right breast. So when they radiate, I actually asked my doctor, how's that? What if I have another, you know, eventually if I have another child, you're never going to have another child. Look me when somebody speaks into your life like that, how hard it is to receive and accept. But what if? No, you will never. <laughs> no, but you know, I'm just saying hypothetically, if, don't do that to yourself. It's never going to happen. Ang kulit talaga. Alam mo yung ganun ang demonyo eh. Ganun ang demonyo. Promise. They steal and they lie. They steal your joy. And you don't let them. And you know, even though he, he probably was an atheist, I looked him straight in the eye and I said, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I will have another child. And, you know, when eventually, I got pregnant three years after. I was already here. I was so excited, I called him. My oncologist in the States, I called him. Hirap pa get through. Dami, you know that oncologists in America are one of the richest? Because they, people get cancer all the time. So they always have patients. It's a business. <laughs> Normally, they don't even know you. They don't remember your name, sa dami. Pero ako, natandaan niya. Kasi number one, I'm not from there. I'm from the Philippines. Number two, maganda ako eh. Yeah. 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 I must have made an impression. <laughs> number three, which is probably most likely the reason why he remembered me, I was his youngest patient. Okay. I was, I was only 30. Most of his patients are 60, in their 50s, ganyan. Siyempre, siguro, tuwing ako yung papasok sa office niya, happy siya. Hindi, hindi masyonda yung pumasa. Diba? Hindi Jurassic. So, nagkaroon kami ng banter ng aking doctor. 
And I called him. When I called, I got his secretary. The other secretary said, Oh, uh, who is this piece of... Uh, this is uh, Maritoni from the Philippines. Oh, one moment, please. Ang bilis. Sumagot yung doctor ko. Sabi ko, Hi, Dr. Cooley. Do you remember me? Sabi niya, How can I forget my beautiful patient? <laughs> Sabi niya, what is, is something wrong? Are you having a recurrence? Kasi normally, tatawag ka lang mo sa doktor mo kapag nagkaroon ka ng problema ulit, di ba? Sabi ko, oh no, 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 I'm perfectly fine, thank you very much. But I just wanted to call you because I remember how you told me I would never have a child again. And I just wanted to share the good news with you that I have, I'm going to have another child. Those were my words, I'm going to have another child. There's silence on the phone, no? And then he goes, well, you know what? I'm really glad you decided to adopt. <laughs> Ganon siya ka certain that I will never be pregnant again. So I said, no, 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 Dr. Cooley, you don't seem to understand. I'm pregnant. Again, silence. Tagal. Are you there? Are you still there, no? Sabi niya, no, 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 that's, that's not possible. Sabi niya sa akin. Sabi ko, no, Doc, I'm pregnant. And I'm gonna have a son. Because by that time, I ko na, no, I was already uh, mga four months pregnant. And he said, Oh, um, no, wait, um, what did you do? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh, I had sex. <laughs> <laughs> Siguro kala niya medical procedure or something. So I said, no, I, I've been taking a supplement for a while. And it's called barley. And ako yung nag-educate sa kanya about what I had done this whole time from day one. Sabi niya, oh, you're a sneaky one. <laughs> sabi ko, but it worked. And sabi niya, oh, well, I'm very happy for you. You know, and um, in as much as we are not allowed to recommend those things, being doctors, we do not stop our patients if they want to. So imagine, that's my oncologist now. He's the one that told me I'll never have a child again. He's the one that told me that, you know, if I get pregnant, for sure I'll have a recurrence. And yet, here I am. My child is 12 years old. I'm 100% in good shape. I would like to say I'm in more than good shape. Yes! yes. So, sinishare ko lang to para malaman nyo kung saan nag nagumpisa yung barley natin. It has come a long way. It, when I first met AM, you know, and he told me he was interested in the barley, parang protective pa ako. Di ba yung parang ayaw kong ishare? Kasi parang ang feeling ko, Baby ko to eh. This is my baby. This is what I this is what helped me survive. And then after a year of friendship that developed between us, I could feel where his heart was. And I knew that his purpose was aligned with mine, which is that we want to help people. We want to help people get better. We want to spread the love of God more than anything. And one of the one of the ways, ironically, uh, is through one of the toughest things I've ever had to go through in my life. And something that I discovered during that time. So, you know, it is an honor and a blessing to be able to provide the barn that helped me to I am worldwide. So do not ever, I mean, if you have any questions, it's, we're always available to let you know. You know, I always encourage also members. Kasi may minsan yung mga nag-private nag messages sa mga social media accounts ko. Simple things like, pwede ba ang barley sa diabetic? You can Google that. I am not your only source of information. Okay? It is in the internet. That's why I am proud to tell you, grabe ang galit ng barley natin. Kasi hindi lang po sa akin dapat manggaling yung bilib din yun. Ako lang po ay testimony. I am, this is, this thing that you see in front of you is the reason why I'm living proof that it works. Yes. Okay?
But go and do your own research. Find out. Maybe, mas may alam pa kayo eventually kesa sa akin about what Barney can do. Yes. Yeah. Diba? You know, I've had people take Barney, come up to me and say, Hoy, alam nyo, yung anak ko, uh, congenital lang heart disease niya, ganyan-ganyan. And then, we just kept giving Barney and eventually it healed. I didn't know that Barney could do that. Kasi bar, I'm not naman a doctor or, or a nutritionist. I'm just a person who took this beautiful gift of God and it worked for me. And that's why I want to share it. I want to let you all know that we are here to support you in every way. Um, it will not only give you great health, it will give you great pockets. Yes. 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 Yes.